Hi, I'm Lars Clint and I am at Microsoft Ignite in Orlando, Florida. I'm at the Orange County Convention Center and it's massive. It's like a mile long. But we're here to report on all the Azure stuff that's coming this week. Uh, so today we've got three different pieces of information that was announced today. Azure Functions is one of Microsoft's offerings in the serverless space and allows developers to build functions as a service that scale on demand. At Microsoft Ignite, which is where we are, in Orlando, Florida, version two of the Azure Functions was announced. Now, Functions 2.0 advances the product in terms of user experience, developer capabilities, and platform robustness. The most significant changes are to the host runtime, which is now portable, yay, cross-platform, double yay, and more efficient. This enables a wide range of options for how you build and run your apps. Especially .NET developers can now author functions using .NET Core 2.1. Not only does this provide a significant performance gain, but also means you can develop and run your .NET functions in more places. Functions 2.0 now also supports both Node 8 and Node 10, and users should expect to see improved performance in general. Azure Logic Apps enables customers to quickly build powerful integration solutions that connect applications and services on-premises and in the cloud. At Ignite, Microsoft announced two new enhancements for Logic Apps for public preview. They include support for bi-directional integration between Logic Apps and SAP, and a new Logic Apps extension for Visual Studio Code that empower customers to automate workflows that span across multiple applications, including SaaS, right. custom build, and package solutions, and developers to do more within a development experience. Azure Blueprints, now in public preview, provides one-click solution for setting up governed subscriptions with pre-configured resources, policies, management, security, and user access controls. It's a blueprint for how the infrastructure on Azure could be configured to comply with certain regulations. For example, the Azure Security and Compliance Blueprint Automation provides guidance for the deployment of a platform as a service environment suitable for the collection, storage, and retrieval of financial data regulated by the Federal Financial Institution Examination Council, or the FFIEC. Customers evaluating public clouds want modern governance capabilities to deploy resources faster and with more control. Azure recognizes the needs by including industry-leading government capabilities like Azure Blueprints in the platform for no additional cost. So that's it for day one of Microsoft Ignite in Orlando, Florida. There's been a lot of announcements here about a variety of products, but the three we just went through are the main ones for our cloud audience. So we'll be back very soon with a lot more news for Microsoft Ignite. Keep being awesome, cloud gurus.